Hey everyone, I am up here on the top of Oyster Dome. It's a local hike, so it doesn't take too long for me to get here. It's about 1,900 vertical feet of elevation gain over about 3.1 miles, so five kilometers. And this is probably one of the better hikes in terms of views. As I'm about to show you, as I'm just kind of like walking around up here, just took a, a nice easy pace on up to the top up here. But as you can see, this area's got a host of views. And it had some recent snowfall, very rare for middle of April, even though this is at about 2,000 feet above uh, sea level. But still, nonetheless, really unusual to have snow this time of year up here. And so I'm gonna make my way down over this way and kind of show you guys some of, some of the other views up here. And it's kind of hard to make this quick little video on any of you out there who are looking just to kind of find ways to improve your mood. I mean, whether you're feeling down, stressed out, and a good way is just to kind of, you know, engage in some light to moderate activity. Nothing more strenuous, just light to moderate. If, you, if you're new or out of shape, you know, to fitness, just, you know, start off easy five ten minutes and then you want to work your way up to 20 minutes 30 minutes and then ideally up to about an hour hour and a half and you just want to keep the effort nice and mellow generally you should be able to maintain a conversation with ease with you know a little bit of you know pausing here and there but not too much just kind of maintain that rhythm where you're able to hold a good conversation or if you're by yourself i mean you can always talk to yourself i suppose but some more features up here but yeah that's i find it's really probably one of the better ways to just overall improve your mood now of course you've got like high intensity training uh sprint explosive training anything all these other forms of physical activity but generally you want to pretty much stick to fairly like to moderate activity if you really want to just overall improve your mood reduce stress and just kind of you know make the rest of your day better and so that's kind of what i'm doing up here i'm kind of you know i'm taking a study break and that's the thing it's like this is so close to where i where i live that it doesn't take long at all to drive here so i'm not you know wasting gas or anything like that easy access so i'm just going to come down this way and kind of show you guys more of the views and there is a popular oyster bar down at the bottom, of course, you've got to hike all the way back down, a couple, th couple thousand vertical feet. It's not too bad if you're a seasoned hiker, <laughs> but they have some of the best dishes you can find. However, it is pretty spendy, <laughs> so <laughs> keep that in mind. And there are two ways to access this trail. One is from an area called the Samish Overlook, and that takes off about a thousand vertical feet of gain. So you're pretty much cutting in half the, the gain that you would normally be gaining if you were to start off from uh, Chuckanut Drive. Which parking can be a little sketch, but you do, you do get that extra little bit of distance, that extra little bit of a workout, and I find it's, it's well worth it. And this is kind of a busy hike on the weekends. It is like turned the Rattlesnake Ledge of Bellingham. And I'm about to show you why that is because of these views. When you come up over here, you got some of the best views around this area. And yeah, you gotta be careful up here because this is like a five or 600 vertical foot drop. And so that would not be a good outcome if you were to sit and fall over the other side here. So I'm gonna make my way over here. And just kind of show you guys more of this awesome scenery. And so there's, you can see that's a really tight spot uh to try to cross over so it, like if you lose your footing so you lose your footing right where i'm pointing right there and i've i've gone over that but i'm not gonna do it trying to hold on to the phone at the same time i just don't like i like to be able to focus on doing that but yeah it's you don't want to be looking down let me just say that so you come over this way i'm not gonna go i'm just gonna kind of show you guys up this way but yeah you come over that, up this way and you can you really kind of want to just feel like getting used to scrambling you know just a couple moves here knowing that you've got a big drop off you can kind of come up in here and just kind of do a couple moves up these rocks and once again you know because i'm holding on to something 
I'd rather have a helmet mount or something just because of the sheer exposure. This is not like Little Psy where there wasn't really much exposure. So just kind of some things to keep in mind, but let me come over this way and show you guys some more of these awesome views. And see, that's the other thing. I know a lot of you out there may not have hikes like this or places to go to like this, but it doesn't really matter. Just pick your favorite place to go to, pick a place where you feel like you can reduce that stress, reduce that anxiety. Just kind of focus on your breathing. Let's look over here. Yep, there we are. That's, that's pretty much sea level down there. A couple thousand vertical feet up here. And so that's why this is a really popular hike. And just kind of come across this nice little rock features over here. Once again, that's a long ways down. Gotta watch your footing. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much and what people come up here for oyster dome so i hope you guys enjoyed that but yeah i just kind of wanted to share with you guys uh, a local hike something that doesn't take long at all to get to it's a great mood enhancer just you know kind of just keep that effort fairly light to moderate just you know being able to kind of how i'm doing right now making this video that's generally how you want to be able to do when you're doing physical activity especially when you're just beginning and you know you can kind of push it just a little bit where you're able to speak a few sentences at a time at least but you don't want to really go much harder than that so i'm just gonna kind of make my way back up on up here and yeah so hope you guys enjoy the scenery up here but i will come back up to you guys from another location kind of just talk, talking about you know some other topics related to mental health and just other things of that nature so yeah i'll come back up to you guys Soon enough. All right. Take care, everyone. And thank you for watching. Right. Peace out.